Now we're going to go ahead and add our character to our view controller so that our character will actually exist and we'll be able to start updating and adjusting our character based on the gameplay of our user. So let's make sure we're in ccviewcontroller.h and I'm going to have to import my character class because I'm going to create a property below my instance variable section and I'm going to call this strong non-atomic and we're going to call this cc character so that we have an instance of characters of property so we can keep reusing the same character and adjust its properties in different methods within ccviewcontroller.m. So let's go ahead and we'll set up our character. So we're going to go to ccviewcontroller.m and we'll go to the view did load method. And we actually already have a factory object here. So we can go right below our tiles object and we can say self.character is equal to factory. Ah, actually, it needs to be a method call, so we'll use a bracket, factory, and we'll call the method character on it. And we know that the factory method character returns an instance of cc character, and we can set that equal to our property here, so that now my property self.character is equal to the character object I set up in my factory. So it has a bunch of initial values and such. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to update the tile method. So we're going to scroll down and find our tile method. And we're going to update uh, some of the labels to display the information for my character. So I can say self.healthlabel.text is equal to and a string, string with format. And we'll do at quote percent i quote comma. And we'll pass in the argument self.character dot health. So we'll use our character's health that we set up in our factory and we'll update that to the health labels text property using the NS string string with format method so that we can use an integer value which is our current health property and e set that equal to this text property which is an NS string. So we're going to use that string with format method we've seen in previous videos. And next we're going to update our damage label and we can set that equal to on a string, string with format, at quote percent i, self dot character dot damage. And we also want to update our armor, so we can say self dot armor label dot text is equal to self dot character dot armor. And we're going to have to actually use the name property of our armor. So we're actually seeing, this is the first time we've seen uh, actually three properties here. So we're using the property character, we're accessing it with the self keyword, and then we're using the property armor, and armor has another property name. And the name is an end of string, so we can set that immediately equal to our text property. And we're going to do the same thing with our weapon label. We can say self.character.weapon.name. Now if we go ahead and run our application, we'll see that all my information is being updated with the exception of the weapon stats and the armor stats being taken into account. So my damage is currently zero because the weapon's damage is not being accounted for yet. So we're going to have to figure out a way to update that in the future. But for now, we see that all my other uh, elements are updating properly. So my initial health of 100 is updating. My weapon and my armor are also updating properly.